right? All three of those strikes has a three count rhythm. Just remember that. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. See? So fun with it. So now we got that out of the way. Here's a here's a favorite that everybody like, and that's the two fish roll. It's not that hard to learn, but once people learn to get lost in that rhythm by just trying to get the rhythm going, in, and they don't know what to do with it, and they get caught up. So that's another cool one. Remember, patience is the key. So if you want to work that double fish. Uh, the two fish roll. Take the you can see this right here is a rebound. So you let it rebound once and go right back into your rhythm. See? Rebound. Remember the front circle, reverse circle, and a side circle. And with that, we're going to put the double punch together with the fish roll. So this could be kind of cool. And this is just the basics now. So just stay on this. I'm not going to go too much further into some other strikes, but I will kind of go, go with a couple elbows. But this is not what I'm trying to, to teach you today. In this particular video, I want to go through the the seven basic strikes that people like to do. So here it is. It's one, two, three, four, five, and we're going to stay at five. So the five strikes is where we're going to go. Front, reverse, side, double punch, and fist roll. So we're going to put those together, those five punches together. Here we go. Okay. Front. Hear that three count rhythm? Oh boy, there you go. Double. 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 Fish roll. Double. Roll, and then we go to reverse punch. That's it. Go to reverse punch and fish roll. Let's go ahead and put them all together. Watch closely. Front circle strike. Make sure we're both hands. The double punch, go right into the reverse. Now we'll double punch from the front of the bag. Like the other side. See that? And now we'll double strike and then we'll go to the side. So all right, so that be a little tricky. Back, make sure that it, the ball, you a little give in there like this by testing with your, your thumbs. So if it's really tight, there's too much air in there. Usually people like about four pounds of pressure. But like I said, I usually like to feel 
make sure the ball is positioned real comfortable to you, where the ball is exactly face level, where the bottom of the bag is as high as your chin. Okay? So with that, you can be consistent and stay consistent on the speed bag. So again, one more time. Like I said, a lot of people that get in there, they want to do all these little tricks, and the first thing you want to learn is to split fist or the hook punch, and, and that those things, those particular punches are really cool, but once someone learns those type of punches first or those type of strikes, it's hard for them to link other punches with them.